What's up everybody, it is Lucas. We are coming at you live from our vacation rental on Gasparilla Island, Boca Grande. Uh, we are so happy to be here to be uh, taking a little break and vacationing, but wanted to come at y'all with a recipe and show you guys what we're making for dinner. You guys might have been keeping along with us on our Instagram, but I wanted to give you guys an in-depth look on an entire meal. And so follow along with us. Uh, yes, I will be wearing my vacation hat. Nick Saban has a house on this island and the off chance that I will meet him at some point, I want to be wearing his hat. So um, I've been wearing this every day. It's exciting. I love this place. So uh, for this meal, I was thinking as I was planning on all the meals that we were going to make at this vacation place, rental house, we decided we wanted to make some beachy food, some things that you might find at a beachside restaurant. So one thing that came to mind immediately was shrimp tacos. So uh, I went online, started looking at some recipes and I decided I love the bang bang shrimp at Bonefish Grill. And I decided, you know, why not try to make a little copycat recipe of that, throw that in the taco. It's going to be great, delicious. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to prep some of the foods. I'm going to shuck the corn. I'm going to take the tails off of these shrimps, which are already peeled and deveined. And then we're going to let them sit in the batter for a little bit. We're going to go play some tennis. And then we're going to come back and finish the food. So normally when you buy peeled shrimp, they do leave this tail still on, and typically you would cook uh, a shrimp with the tail on. However, we are eating tacos, and I don't want to have to worry about taking the tail off as I'm eating a taco, so I'm going ahead and taking these off. Easiest way to do this is super simple. There's about, there's two sections of the shrimp tail. Uh, you pinch it right at where the sections connect, and then you pull, and it should pull all of the shrimp meat out of the tail. Um, and so that's just a really easy way to take the tail off of a shrimp uh, when you buy them peeled and hopefully deveined as well. So you might be wondering why we put these in two bowls. Uh, we are making one batch that's going to be fried and then my mother requested some shrimps to be not gra not fried, but pan fried or grilled. Is that, did I say that right? I don't know. Either way, she does not want batter on this one. So we're making them in two batches. So the first batch is gonna get fried. We are going to coat these in buttermilk and then we'll put both of them in the fridge until we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do is find the base of the corn uh, where it starts here with my thumb and I'm going to cut just about a fourth of an inch up from it and then I'm going to put two hands on it to, get, to cut all the way through and then once you've done that you can you just peel the, the, I don't know what to call these, the leaves, the casing, I don't know, y'all let me know. Y'all know what the outside of a corn is called? Is it a shuck? Is that why it's called shucking corn? I don't know, but I'm gonna learn. Y'all let me know. So everything is prepped now. We are ready to go for tonight, but before we do anything, we're gonna go play some tennis and then we'll be back to finish the meal. So we're not playing tennis. Oh, <laughs> we're all good. Haven't ridden a bike in a year. Of course we're flooded. We're going back. We might go bike riding later to try to burn off some calories. And now all of 15 minutes later, we are back in the kitchen because the courts were flooded. So uh, I will be finishing the food for tonight and we're gonna have a delicious slightly earlier dinner. All right, so first things first, before we coat the shrimp in flour, we're gonna go ahead and put the oil in the cast iron skillet and get that warming up. 
I like using a cast iron skillet for any kind of frying, uh, just because it does retain heat really well at the temperature you want it for a long period of time. So once the shrimps have shrimps, is that plural? It's not the plural. Shrimp. I like saying shrimps though. Once the shrimps have sat in the buttermilk, once the shrimp have sat in the buttermilk, then uh, you want to uh, get them out of there. Make sure you have the excess buttermilk off and then you drop them into some flour or cornstarch. Uh, I added some onion powder and some cayenne to my flour just to give it a little bit of extra kick when I'm frying them. You can do this multiple shrimps at a time, uh, but you don't want to have too many here so the flour doesn't get all clumped up. And then you drop them into the fryer. So we are finishing up the shrimp back there on the grill. It's not a grill, it's a stove top. But anyway, Laura here is finishing up some of the other ingredients that we're gonna be putting on the tacos. I don't know why I'm holding this, but it's okay. Um, she cut up some onions, some lettuce, avocado, amongst other things that we're gonna be putting on the tacos. But what we do need to do right now is coat the shrimp in the bang bang sauce. And here's how it's made. It is mayo based. A lot of sauces that are used in restaurants are mayo based, so keep that in mind. Putting in a little bit of sriracha in it, and then usually it uses some sweet chili sauce, but I'm going to substitute some basic simple syrup. We don't have any sweet chili sauce on hand. So the simple syrup is just made by boiling one to one measurements of sugar and water, and then letting it cool down. So we have some of that on hand, so I'll be using that to sweeten the sauce a little bit and then we're going to coat the shrimp with it. Now we are going to make a second batch of this with sour cream because we have a picky eater amongst us. Same ingredients, just with sour cream instead of mayo. So I added a little bit of red pepper flakes. Uh, that is the main component in sweet chili sauce. And so by adding the sugar syrup, as well as the red pepper flakes, you get a very similar effect. All right, so street corn is pretty easy to make uh, and we are going to be doing that here. So we have these corns that we were boiling earlier and street corn is a pretty easy recipe. You usually use something called crema mexicana, which you can find at Mexican grocery stores or any Central American grocery store. It is very similar to sour cream. It lives somewhere between sour cream and mayo. And so we're gonna use sour cream today. And we are going to basically just coat the corn and the sour cream. Then you add a little bit of lime juice, cilantro, and then we're gonna add a little bit of chili powder as well. All right, the family is ready to eat. Thank you guys for joining us. I had a good time making it. Make sure you like and subscribe to follow along.